Hi everyone, so I was going to do the unboxing today for the We Are Memory Keepers typecast typewriter and um, I got it in the color mint and I just don't think it will be possible because the box is quite big and I have extended my tripod for the camera on max and it still can't get everything in frame so I think I'm going to take it out of the box off camera and then um, we will have a look at it together. I haven't um, seen it actually so I'm quite excited. Okay I have managed to take it out of the box and it's got a really nice weight to it. Um, so there is important information read before using so I haven't done that yet which I will do in a minute. I'm not intending to use it just now I just wanted to give you a quick um, quick look of it and the buttons look beautiful they have that retro feel to them so they have a texture um, and it's how I remember it to be from when I was little so I'm just going to take off the sleeve okay so I will have a little read through uh, of the manual and actually have a go and try out with typing so before I do that I also wanted to let you know if you can see inside there is this ribbon and that's the ribbon that has the ink on there so once these letters hit the ribbon it kind of um, like stamps the the letters and the one that comes with this typewriter is a black and red I don't think um, I'm going to use much of the red at all to be honest because I'm not into red um, however I went ahead and I bought the black and white I couldn't see a ribbon that was fully black on both sides. There were also others like uh, black and a teal, black and a silver, I think. So I went for the white just in case I want to um, do some typing on a black cardstock or something like that. I think white on black looks pretty cool as well. So let me go ahead, read the manual and then we will try it together and I'm quite um, quite excited because it really is putting me back to my childhood and um, I think it looks great and it will look great on my little Ikea uh, table over there and yeah so let's go ahead and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so first of all, I have uh, read the um, read before using instructions. So there are four things that you need to remove before you uh, start using the machine. So first of all, there's this one, which is this thing here. Uh, so it's like a long... Um, some sort of wire. So these are um, added to the machine for transportation purposes. The second one is on this side. It's like a plastic, which you can see here. So you just pull that out and it looks like that. Third one is on the other side right here Let me just move it slightly okay so same thing pull it out just kind of grip it here and then finally at the back there is another one uh, right here this plastic bit that's it okay so that we have done okay so now I'm going to go ahead and read the manual and then um, we will try it out okay so basically I am not going to go through with you the entire manual and I actually will do it once I um, start sort of properly using it for projects and have a little 
play session but today I just wanted to have um, the initial kind of typing on the first few uh, letters or something like that so in the manual um, you have all the information including changing um, the typewriter ribbon, how to adjust paper margins and all the usual stuff that you need is actually not that much. There is an additional features on here and then there is uh, basically these two pages. So that's quite good because I do not like too detailed manuals. I tend to be put off them. I just don't like too much <laughs> information that's uh, not necessary but all the stuff that you do need is here so far I have just basically figured out that here is this button that says black BLK or CLR color so this is when you select what color ribbon you want the letter to be typed in then I guess here is the what's this one lowercase I thought it was number eight impression regulation I'm not sure low and high what would that mean I have no idea so anyways to move the paper there is this little lever here which goes up and then if you actually do that you can also do it here on the side and all of this paper is typed up. So I was going to scroll a little bit down to use it, but it looks like everything is tied up as well as on the other side. So I'm just going to actually go lower down and try and type here something. So I've got it on black. Right, so this is very light, barely can see it. So I assume high probably will give us a higher impression sorry you can't see it but I, I only i can see because it's right here um am i doing something wrong here so it's not really do you have to press really hard okay Right, so basically you have to press really hard. If you just do kind of like a regular computer typing, it won't um, do the, the letters, the ink doesn't transfer onto the paper enough. Um, but if you press really hard, it does do that. So I wonder what's the minus and plus? Does that change anything? can't really tell to be honest let's do the red right so actually nowhere here does it say anything about uppercase and lowercase but obviously I can see on the test paper it does do that and you would need to do that to write a document so I will have to figure out you can move this just manually as much as you need to and then if you need to release it you push this button here and you release it all the way there and then you can do again start wherever you need to and then release um, how to release paper now that's a good question so do you just pull it so I guess you just pull it out yeah um, so here is what I have typed so far is right here so you can see it was very hardly very faint hardly you could see it and then as I started to push really hard that's when the impression gets better the uh, letters are a little bit jumpy but to be honest with you I think that's something that's quite characteristic of the typewriters so it kind of has this um, typical look of it so I don't expect it to be all perfectly aligned as long as it's not too off and so anyways that is it and I'm very kind of excited to be using that I also actually while we're at it I want to try and type it onto um, let's see onto a uh, tracing paper okay so in the uh, manual it doesn't actually clearly explain what to do so you kind of have to um, take the information and try it out until you get there so I managed to 
uh, insert tracing paper into here. Now, from my understanding, this is how you release the paper is by turning these knobs which are on each side so you can use either of those when you're feeding in the paper um, trying to think what you're gonna do is you're going to I guess select it like that I don't think it matters really where you insert it because you can always move this bit left and right to make sure you get in the middle but basically stick it in there where it's this line until it doesn't move and then start turning the same lever and that will pull it through and now you put this thing on top of the paper like that and now you can start typing so if you want to start like on this side what you do is you press this button to release and hold it and then for example if I want to start here this is where I'm going to start typing and let's see so I'm gonna do that in um, red and now I want to do black so I'm gonna a little gap here just remember to push really hard I guess um, the feeling of typing is really fun so I'm just oh it's incredibly heavy this thing you do need strong arms okay let me just uh, write again so I'm just typing sunny days and that's all I'm doing in repetition so now if I want to release the paper if I'm done with typing you're just going to do what we've done before and I just want to show you the quality of typing so here it is typed and as you can see this letter has a little bit I hope you can see there we go this letter has a little bit of a um, kind of like a slide but it's not moving it's not sliding away it's not smudging so that's good and it looks lovely so if I wanted to do a little um, this is exactly what I got it for so my idea was to say I wanted to type out a little poem or a little kind of like a diary entry or some sort of memory keeping text I could just go ahead and kind of type it type it then cut it out and use it and I think it looks so pretty um, I I'm quite happy with the purchase I think the price is reasonable and it looks great in your office and I have no complaints so far um, so that's my honest review and like I said if you're expecting it all to be identical and in straight line like from the like if you write on a computer I don't think that this is this is what a typewriter is designed for um, I guess if you are uh, willing to pay uh, you know four five hundred pounds for a high quality typewriter that will give you that sort of alignment of the letters and perfection then you you obviously need to go for something like that if you just want to use a typewriter for crafting projects and you are um, able to enjoy this sort of uh, imperfection then I think it's a great typewriter it cost um, over a hundred pounds it was uh, gosh 150 something like that it really depends on what color you go and also the the price um, fluctuates um, depending on you know whether people are buying it a lot and sometimes it's out of stock so yeah if you like a color and you're able to spend that money I would recommend to go for it because um, sometimes it's out of stock and then you have to wait a few weeks for it to be delivered or back in stock and then on top of it the the delivery the shipping time depending 
which part of the country you are so that is it for today i'm quite a happy bunny and i like it a lot and for those of you who don't know this was my chosen birthday present and i i really like it um i think i'm going to enjoy i find it very therapeutic just to sit down and type right at the end of the evening um a little like a journal entry or something like that so thank you for watching and see you soon